Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Rowe, the starch lady. And I wanted to invite you to do something special for me this year. 2023 is just around the corner, starting actually on Monday. And I would like to invite you to join me in doing a daily blog. Uh, we are in our group going to be doing a 40-day Mary's Mini chan uh, Channel Challenge. And uh, some people are going to do, like Gina, she's going to do a 40-day Mary's Mini, but every 10 days she's going to change up her starch. So the regular starch solution is mostly starches, 50 to 70% with a little bit of vegetables. The maximum weight loss version encourages you to do half starch, half vegetables. And that is also the best way to have the healthiest blood. If you remember, my specialty is microscopic blood health, urine health. And when people are eating a 50-50 plate, they are the having the most beautiful blood in the microscope. So for your health and everything, there's a there's a, a, a lot to be said about having vegetables as half of your plate. So uh, one of the things that I'm doing, and I want to show you how I did it on Facebook, and I want to walk you through and see if you want to do it with me. Uh, but let me just take you over here and share screen for a second. If I can do this with a little skill and speed, because I don't want you to be on here all day. All right, so I'm going to go over here, and we're going to um go to facebook and on my regular facebook page this is my family page these are my kids up here uh if you scroll down you'll see where it says photos and when you click on photos it also has a place for albums and you can go into albums and you can say create a new album and what you want to do first is change this from public to only me that means that only you are going to be able to see that album and then give it a title and say, like on mine, I think I called it like uh, 2023 is um, the perfect me or something like that. I'm making this up because I don't think that's what I use. The perfect me. And uh, then you can start uploading photos, videos, um, pictures of your scale if you want to. But I want to go a little bit further and use it like a blog. So let me show you what I did for mine. But once you say post, only you can see it until you make it public. And if you remember, you've seen it, you know, nobody want to show pictures of themselves, you know, standing in their swimming suit with their body hanging out everywhere until they get thin. And then that's all you see is their pictures of them half dressed standing in front of a mirror. I think it's pretty funny. So I'm no different. So I started this one here, 23, the healthiest me is what I called it. And I've already added four pictures here and I'm gonna really you know, share my life story here with you real quick. But um, I think the highest weight I ever got was 280. This is a picture of me in 2018 at 250 pounds. And some of you have seen this before. I'm not happy and I'm not proud about this picture here, but when I lose all my weight, it's gonna be plastered. I'm gonna get a lifetime cutout, a life-size cutout, cardboard cutout and take it with me to all my classes that I teach. But basically, this is a screenshot from when I was the guest speaker on a live broadcast about health. And shockingly enough, uh, a couple weeks later, uh, the host was doing another blog with somebody else. And I was following along because, you know, I was just really excited to be part of her program and wanted to follow her. And uh, lo and behold, she said, don't go to an overweight practitioner to learn how to lose weight. If they can't do it for themselves, how are you going? To, how are they going to help you? And I know she was talking about me because look at me. I mean, I've got a life preserver going on here. Not too happy about that. But I, I'm using this as kind of a journal entry so that when I do release this, it'll be kind of like a book. I could actually probably print it out and make it a book because I'd have my pictures and I'd have my blog and stuff here. And I'm even keeping my, my feelings in here. This is like a journal. And this is the journal of 2023 and getting to be the healthiest me. And I think that would be something fun for you to do. Uh, this next one here is a picture of me after, this is a month after I started Dr. McDougall's program. And in that first month, I lost 17 pounds. And that um, uh, I started my weight at 230 and so the 230 pounds, um, I was down 
uh, because I'd lost a couple of pounds. I was down to 230 pounds. I was feeling pretty good about myself. And then the next one here in May, the following year, um, I had knee surgery. Now I'd gotten down to about 208. This uh, scale photo here on the day of surgery was 209.8. And I had actually torn my knee when I um, had bought a real cute pair of uh, high heeled boots. They were just so dang sexy, little short boots. I was just so proud of them. And I was in a hurry to take them off and I yanked them off at the wrong angle and kept yanking. And I literally popped my knee and actually created a multi-torn, multi-directional torn meniscus that they had to repair. And so I was at 209.8 on the day of surgery and I gained uh, weight back during that time. They told me to take a year to heal. And sure enough, like the a year later is when I finally felt like I didn't have to hang on to the wall or use my cane or something or grab the bed or grab the wall to, to get to the bathroom in the mornings. So that was kind of scary, but here we are today, and this is what motivated this post. And uh, this is me today. And I, I found this shirt in the closet. I hadn't worn it for a long, long time. I think it's got beautiful coloring in it. I put it on and it fit. I thought I felt pretty good in it. So I had my husband take some pictures and then I saw the pictures and I don't like my pictures. And so at some point I want to be able to love my pictures and go, Ooh, look at me but that's about a hundred pounds away. When my husband and I got married 30 years ago, I weighed 124 pounds. And I don't know at age 61, if I can get down that far, but I guarantee you, I wanna get down to at least 140, 130. So I'm looking forward to this. I have Beth as an inspiration. She has just been amazingly dedicated to this program and the, um, effort that she's put in. I really appreciate that. And I found this recently. This is a book that Beth brought over to my house. It was a, a notebook she brought over to my house 10 years ago. Our first entry in here was a weight loss goal that we were doing then, July 7th of 2012. And it has her weight and my weight and our measurements and all that fun stuff. And the goals that we had 10 years ago and one of the things and mistakes that I had made is in um, my early training uh, when I had cancer and I needed to get rid of that cancer, I went so straight up plant-based that I didn't even eat starches. And I was living on vegetables, 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 and I wasn't losing any weight. And I didn't understand how I could not be pencil thin eating as little as I, as I was. And what I had done is put myself in a state of starvation or storage mode, they call it. And I added up all my macros and stuff before I started the starch solution. That was what motivated me to try it is in December before I started uh, the starch solution, about six months before, I put in all the food that I was eating for several days. And on average, I was only getting 400 to 800 calories a day, which was not enough to sustain life for an adult, let alone one as big as I was. And so uh, that was a huge eye opener. Then I came across Dr. McDougall and I thought there is no way on the planet that someone could lose weight eating starches. And you know now I'm having eggnog that's made with sweet potato unsweetened milk, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, things like that. It tastes just like eggnog, but it's actually healthy and satisfying feeling. It's like my dessert today. Who has to feel guilty about that? Nobody said anybody. Anyways, um, so when I got started on the starch solution, I was, my first meal was mashed potatoes with uh, vegetable broth, gravy that was thickened with uh, cornstarch, I had some vegetables on the side and I literally cried through that first meal. And it wasn't because the food tasted so good that I was brought to tears. I was literally afraid that all of the hard work I'd done to get my blood cancer free was gonna be ruined. And so I glued myself to my microscope and I tested my blood often and my blood just kept getting better and better and staying better. I have beautiful blood. I have beautiful urine tests. Um, I mean, all of these things are what I teach in my clinic, that if I can get the blood and the urine to be healthy, 
that you really can't get sick. And I'm a very non-sick type person. And so I know that works. I know how I feel. I'm 61 years old, people. I feel better than I did when I was 25 living in North Dakota. I was extremely overweight and I was depressed and I was sickly. And I feel like I have energy to galore, but um, there's so much that still needs to be accomplished and that's helping you. Uh, we are gonna do a giveaway. We have this book here called Eat for Health and it's got all kinds of lovely recipes in it that you're gonna love. And so this is gonna be our next giveaway. And I think we're gonna give it away at the end of the Mary's Mini 40 Day Challenge. By the way, the Mary's Mini 40 Day Challenge starts on Monday the 2nd of January. And if you count out 40 days, it actually ends the Sunday uh, before Valentine's. So I'm just gonna take it all the way to Monday, the day before Valentine's on Tuesday that week. And it's going to go all the way to the 13th of February. So January 2nd to 41 days later on January or February 13th, the day before Valentine's. Now, who does not want to look better for Valentine's Day for your, your special date out or date with yourself, wherever you want to take yourself? It's, it's just a good goal date to work towards. And if we do well, we can do it again. So I really love this group. I love each of you. I don't know if you want me to do little videos like this on a regular basis, or if you want to go back to doing the live Zoom classes where you can actually talk and interact with each other and motivate each other. But I love the accountability. I think uh, one of the other people, Gina or somebody had said that they love the accountability part, but I know time is an, of, of an effort. When we started the video chats, originally we were having like 20 and 30 people on and then it dwindled down to just me and one other person. So me and Carolyn, we, we're the ones that scratched off that last day together, isn't it, Carolyn? So anyways, if you guys have any questions, don't forget, new members, if you have not had your one-on-one -on -one with me, you do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with me, it's private, it's just you and me. We're gonna talk about your health issues, your dietary challenges, and see what we can do to help you get going and motivated for you know, the upcoming year and to become your healthiest self, because this is about health. This is not about weight loss, this is about health. And the number one side effect of getting healthy is weight loss, we'll take it. So for those of us that need to lose weight, it's great. For those of us that don't need to lose weight, it's just a better way to keep your blood healthy, your urine healthy, your body healthy, and learn ways to be able to strengthen your muscles and do other things to really keep you at your best. So again, I'm the starch lady, Dr. Rowe. Uh, give me a call, 210-880-4321. All calls are recorded so that we can have verification and uh, research purposes. And so if you call me, uh, don't, don't be surprised if it says that you're being recorded. And then also it gives us an opportunity to, to start a file so that I can help you with your individual journey. And this whole Facebook group is free. I don't charge for it. It's not mine to charge for. I am just forever indebted and grateful to Dr. Uh, John McDougall and his wife, Mary, uh, for their contributions and, and education and the efforts that they've given to us freely. I've taken some classes and, and stuff from them and he wants us to share this information. The other person I wanna give thanks to is Dr. Caldwell Esselstein, the cardiovascular surgeon that also teaches plant-based eating. His uh, wife and daughter have a YouTube channel that has cooking uh, cooking videos on it. His son is the uh, rep, uh, Rip Esselstein from the author of the Engine Number no. 2 Diet out of Austin, Texas, where the fire department went on a healthy diet, and it uh, uh, boosted his career in that direction as well. But the whole family is just the epitome of healthy, I would call it. I have some homework assignments for you if you're new, and you can actually... Uh, watch the videos to learn why we don't eat plant proteins. Um, we don't eat meat. We don't eat dairy. We don't eat eggs. We don't eat um, oil. So no meat, no dairy, no oil, or anything that's related to that. Those are the things that cause disease. And I can go into that in more detail in other videos coming up. Another thing, lastly, that we're going to be doing is sharing some of Beth's motivations. I'm going to try and post one of these every day. Uh, we were too short. In order to get there, I needed like two or three extra ones to get to the actual date. And then Beth will start. 
So I will be sharing some of the motivation that she gave me and has helped me to stay on track. So again, if you have any questions, please put a message to help me low, message me directly on private message or call my office. All right, talk to y'all soon. Have a great one.